here we're going to see Johnny back up and he's going to back up between two trucks as you can see me walking away from the truck there now the little red shirt and he's going to drive around set up and he's going to back it in you know and he's kind of pretty much doing it on his own I'm just foreseeing the whole area making sure he doesn't hit anything which is what I want for all my students not to hit anything so he's going around and getting the camera just right and he's gonna back up between uh, let me see the purple and the blue truck right here on the right yeah between the two primes you see me walking in the middle right there he's coming around he's gonna set it up now we had done some practice uh, backing before this and you know when you set it up you want to get as close as you can to the trucks now you want to start the initial setup when the drives hit the spot you are backing into so I think right there I'm uh, explaining to Johnny what needs to happen and you know kind of get a brief of what he's going to do and then kind of giving them some tips so let's see and you can see the there's a tanker that pulled in and then there's a the blue truck in front of the two primes it's what he has to watch for and the other truck that pulled in it's what he has to watch for as he backs out backs up to the spot so let me see all right he's making sure the other truck doesn't pull through he stopped right now you see the drives were there start setting it up bring it back to the left and this one he went maybe a little too far to the right um, and again guys uh, the tandem settings have a big factor in how you uh, set up and how you back up and stuff so it looks like he's got a bigger gap over here in the front on the driver's side and a smaller gap on the passenger side we'll see what happens though as you see him backing up he's you gotta keep watching the passenger side as you back up now the tandems are further up so he has to look at the tandems and not so much the tail but he has to worry about the tail overhang and as you can see right now he's getting out and look and you gotta worry about the hangover on the tandems you know you don't want to uh, back it up as if the tandems were further back so and the trailer tails are in guys for those of you that uh, want to give me you know hassle about the trailer tails <laughs> so you know at, at that point I was discussing with Johnny what he was going to continue to do and stuff and what to look for you know, a lot of the times, I also have the students back up on their own and kind of see what they do and then go from there. Now, you see me back here in the bottom between the blue and the purple truck. Again, I'm making sure he doesn't hit anything. He's backing up. He needs to start getting under right now, which he is. Yep. Which he was seen the wheels turning and as he's backing up or you want to make sure you look at the passenger side make sure you're good you're not gonna hit anything over there while looking you gotta swivel your head back and forth passenger side driver side passenger side driver side you know and move at your pace don't let other truckers rush you into the spot all right guys you know, that's one thing I hear a lot, you know, what if people rush me? No, you shouldn't let nobody rush you. So, as you can see, he backed up and he's getting closed on the back. So he has to pull up. When you pull up, you want to try to get under it. And he's pulling up as much as he can, you know, from what he can see on the driver's seat. Because you don't want to get too close to that front truck, which you can see get change of view here 
so you guys can see the front view as you can see he's closer to the driver's side which that's fine you know once you get it in the box then you can shift it uh, do any adjustments you need to do all right it seems like he's backing up slowly watching his mirrors you know making sure everything's good again you want to back up as much as you can before pulling up and shifting the trailer all right johnny anytime you pull up you try to do the the three steps and you always want to end up on the driver's side or for a straight line backing always work with the driver's side all right as you can see he's pushing the back in towards the passenger side now he's got to push the front of the trailer towards the passenger side and then get under it which he did as you can see pretty even pretty good it's one of the best backings he'd done out here and it helped him get his confidence up you know i'm not always on top of the the students unless they need it because i always like to see how they do it themselves what are they you know thinking about when they're doing it themselves so you know this is Johnny, one of Johnny's last backing that he did on my truck and stuff. So, you know, he's moved on to bigger and better things. And you see Johnny getting out of the truck there. You know, he's coming back, make sure he's good. I think I was telling him at that point, I was like, man, you did pretty good. <laughs> Seemed like he was going to be tight up front. So yeah guys you know that's that's Johnny <laughs> yeah I'm talking with him back there that's Johnny and you know again one of his last few backings he did one of the last backings he did on my truck let me say that again so you know always watch your mirrors guys don't let no other truckers rush you into doing you know the backing and stuff so hope you liked it uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Bitch, I'm on a party like this.